Okay, hey guys. It is cold today. Hold on. I gotta just wait till we get on the main road. I don't know why I start vlogs this early every time. Let's compile the truth. Look at what Sam's wearing. <laughs> it is Bordor Bordortmund? Borussia Dortmund? Uh, soccer jacket, whatever. Because they just won. So we are going to do our bi weekly uh, shopping today. We do this every other week. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, that does suck. Someone hit their fire extinguisher. I don't think so. I uh, think they're draining it. Oh, are they? I think so. It's just way too cold to be doing it. Yeah, it is. Um, but we're going to go grocery shopping. Sam's gonna go to Ulta for me, which will be really fun to see. Did you take a picture of that thing? I did. It'll be really fun to see him try this. He's just gonna get some help from the lady. Um, he has to get one thing. It's just my chamomile night cream. He's gonna do that and go to PetSmart while I film my American Eagle shop with me. Would have gone up on my main channel last week. So, kind of the deal here is we are not gonna be, when you guys see this vlog, like the week will already be over. We are not uploading vlogs at all next week because I'm going to Milwaukee. So even if Sam was to vlog the entire time, he doesn't know how to edit. And then it would be too much for him to vlog, upload that footage, and then send it to me for me to edit. Like there just won't be time. So, um, cause I'm going for a work trip for like my day job. So I mean, you could always try editing this week. Yeah, maybe. What do you want me to edit though? How about this? I'm you just edit. I'm enough to like come up and make my own entire. No, no, no. You edit this clip. Like this is a, so far we're at two minutes and 23 seconds. You just put this do on I my have, computer, do edit I it. have the software on my computer to do it? We have to do it through yours. We can, you can do it through mine or we can download it on yours. I use Adobe Premiere Pro, by the way. Um, so yeah, we, we, I don't know. We're, we're not gonna be uploading a vlog because I'll be in Milwaukee for four of the five weekdays. But my main channel videos will still go up as scheduled. Oh my God, you're driving like a bat out of hell. So yeah, it's just gonna be an odd week, but we're gonna push through. This is like, this is the busiest week I think we have pretty much for the rest of the year until like holidays, don't you think? Like I don't think, do you have any work stuff coming up? I don't have any more work trips to my knowledge, or at least out of town work trips. Like this past week I was in Florence, which is three hours away. And then next week I'm gonna be in Milwaukee. And then one day next week I have to go to Atlanta, but we're only gonna be in Atlanta for like two hours, like two or three hours. So that won't really impede much of my, like. That's gonna be such a this. waste. You're gonna drive three and a half hours, four hours to, to Atlanta. A three hour, yeah, it really is. But it's okay, it'll be fun. So yeah, I don't know what I'll be able to vlog. Um, I. I'm getting lash extensions on Monday, getting cavities potentially filled on Monday. It's just gonna be an interesting week, but we're just gonna keep on keeping on, aren't we, baby? He's gonna miss me. You gonna miss me, Sam? Yeah. He's gonna miss me. All right, we're gonna jam to some music. I guess we'll see you when we see ya. Oh. oh. I'm starting to get severe anxiety about being away from Sam. Yeah. Shoot. Yeah. Yeah. I just uh, I don't do good when I'm away from him for a long period of time, especially traveling. It's gonna be fine. Um, I just uploaded a YouTube video. That's gonna be Thursday's video. I'm gonna make sure that that one is like all taken care of tonight. Can you pause that for a second, baby? Um, I'm gonna make sure that all like my videos and stuff are taken care of before I go because I'm gonna be just working and stuff so I'm not gonna have time to really mess with that um okay so I'm going to change out the cat litter because it is my turn this week because that is not a job that anybody wants so we share it and then I'm gonna help this and make dinner Taking off my heels. Just take it. First thing I did when we got home.
Which one do y'all think is better? Regular chocolate chip? White macadamia? White chip macadamia nut. Don't be hating on the macadamia. I'm not hating on it. I just think it's going to be a lot sweeter than you realize. Baby, I love white macadamia cookies. Okay. They're like one of my... Them and oatmeal raisin are probably my two favorite cookies. <laughs> Cookies. <laughs> I wish you could have oatmeal raisin without the raisin. You, you can. You just have to make them at home. There's like a good, there's a good taste to the oatmeal raisin. It's just the texture of the raisin is what I don't like. Okay, let me go do the cat litter. So, as I was talking to myself for a good 20 seconds because uh, I thought the camera was on. Guinness, focus, come on, any day now, well, there it is, Guinness, because any time is Guinness time. You guys, look at this steak. This is our favorite meal to cook, because it's so quick. He just poured some beer on it, I wonder why it looks like that. Why is this not focusing? Can you? I don't know, I wasn't doing it in a second ago, I was trying to talk and do stuff. Man. Auto focus, okay. So see this whole thing right here? It's, it That says MF, that means manual focus. Just click it and it says auto focus and uh, it should work. What were you talking about? I'm just saying I like getting someone to rig it whether they approve or not, so. Oh, we're having corn on the cob. Guess who can have corn on the cob now because she doesn't have her braces. I'm only going to make two of these because that steak is massive. So. Yeah, that steak is big. Also, I did my nails yesterday. Forgot to put the pH bond on them. So that's what happens. Man, I'm really going to miss you. My stomach like, is really starting to hurt about leaving for four days. Makes the feel better. I just don't think that that's the solution to anxiety. It's so heavy, it just like kind of holds everything in. I, I was being serious. No. Yeah, uh, yeah, I know, yeah. You feed the animals? Mm. What do you feel? <laughs> Dinner will be ready very shortly. Go on. <laughs> feed him for you, man. No me. Ah, no me. Let me get you know. Don't wanna go. Look who's letting me hold her. She's never been one that really liked being held. Hey guys, okay, so it's just me again. Um I am about to leave right now to go get my lash extensions. I am so excited. I can hardly stand it. Um, so, fill you in. Okay, so if you follow me on my Instagram, which if you don't, you really should. Shameless plug. Um, I just updated you guys on there. But I went this morning to the dentist and I went to, let me just tell you. If you in the Greenville Spartanburg area, you need to go here. So this is, it's Palmer, Palmer Distinctive Dentistry, okay? So it's a holistic dentist. And I know that to some people, that sounds like they rub some herbs on it and call it a day, but that ain't the case, I promise. So basically, they just go above and beyond to make sure you're comfortable. Let me explain to you the traumatic experience I have quickly had with my mouth before. I have had a gum graft surgery, which is where they cut the skin off of the roof of your mouth and put it on the bottom of your mouth here. So look, I'll just show you guys. You can see how discolored my gums are because I have a receding gum line. It's genetic. My whole family has it. Everyone, everyone has it in my family. So I had to have that. I had to have my wisdom teeth taken out. I had two dry sockets. If you've ever had dry sockets, it It'll literally, like, I begged my mom to take me out back and shoot me. Like, I can't, I can't do this anymore. This is the most painful thing I've ever experienced because it's in your face and it radiates into your head and it makes your whole body hurt. Horrible. I have had, I think, four cavities before. They were all on this side. And, of course, all my cavities, they were on this side. This side, they missed, didn't numb my teeth correctly. 
And when I told them, they just said, ah, well, we're already there. It's okay. A lot of people don't go for getting their mouth numbed anyway. So I have had cavities filled without numbing before. So painful. So painful. So I'm just terrified of the dentist. Um, I go today to a, it's called the distinctive dentistry because I have a horrible fear of dentists, especially after they numbed my mouth, missed, didn't numb the correct part. I still felt the cavities. They still charged me and they were just like, oh, we're just going to do it anyway. Um, so this place is known for making you comfortable. I went in, they asked my name, they asked to get to know me a little bit. Um, they listed off like five things like longevity, health, like all these different words that basically you had to say, okay, this is what matters to me in my, in my like dental process. And so I go back, they're so nice. They're like, they give me a headrest. They're like, do you want a blanket? Do you want music? What can you, what can we do? They didn't do a cleaning because I just told them I didn't have time, um, which was great because honestly, like I was so just like, I was already pressed for time and they just like gave me the option, which made me feel so good. So they just jumped right in. I had five cavities and th four of them were from my braces. And so they filled them, fixed this composite tooth, this one right here, the one that doesn't have the receding cum line. That one I was born with a birth defect on, so it's really sensitive. They fixed that composite and a chipped tooth in an hour and a half. An hour and a half. And they numbed me so good, it did not hurt that bad, that like while they were numbing me, they like started to drill into my tooth and I jerked and I was like, oh my God, it's gonna happen again. I can feel they didn't numb me correctly. Like my mouth is not numb. I'm about to have to have this cavity filled again without numbing. And they stopped and they like put all the tools down and they were like, tell us when you're comfortable and we're gonna give you more numbing medication. So they put more in my mouth and I was completely numb. Like they were just so different from any dental experience I've ever had that it truly made me not scared of the dentist anymore. Like. I've been terrified my entire life and one trip to Palmer Distinctive Dentistry, not sponsored, uh, like completely changed it. So I just like am completely dumbfounded at like kind they were and they made me feel so comfortable and like you genuinely could tell their first priority was comfort, their second was getting the dental work done and it was so fast and it was actually not that expensive. To have what I had done, I'm not, I don't know if I should tell you guys the price. It's like, oh, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. But, it, it just, I definitely was so surprised. And this bag I keep showing you guys is a, um, they gave me a goodie bag. I don't know what this is. I'm just seeing that there is something in here. Got the vacuum going in the background. I have to leave and go get my lash extensions filled. Gotta come home, finish a drawing. Then, I have to start packing, film a video, edit that video, upload that video. I have a lot to do. This is gonna be the longest vlog ever. Like in the history of ever. Okay, so yeah, I just wanted to fill you guys in. Not sponsored at all. I don't even think that's a thing. I don't know. Do you dentists sponsor YouTubers? Um, I just like genuinely want you guys to know like I am petrified of the dentist it and I think it's just because I can't see what they're doing because if I'm at the hospital and I'm like I've literally had nurses put their hand on my face and like push my face back because I was so like looking when they were like sticking a needle in my arm or something like I love to watch what they're doing and I think that's what scares me about the dentist is I can't see what they're doing but I'm a little terrified to ask for a mirror because I, I don't think I want to see what they're doing. And they literally drill into the center of your tooth. Mm. Mm. Okay, so yeah, I gotta get going. I need to, I need to get going. I'm like such a spaz today. Ugh, it's okay. All right, guys, I'm back. So, ooh, these lashes. I slept a little funky last night. So look at this, look at this chaos from my trip. It's my like work bag. And then that's like work laptop. 
that I have to clean up and then all this. Oh my gosh, it's bad. So I got home yesterday about eight. We need that. I got home yesterday at like, it was like 8.30. It's about 8.30. And you didn't vlog all week, did you? Nope. Someone worked late every night almost. Like. Every day but yesterday. Yeah, every day but yesterday he worked super late. Um, and I thought I was going to be working really late yesterday too, so. Yeah, he thought it was yesterday it was going to be his latest day. So he didn't vlog. But I was in Wisconsin. Milwaukee um, for a design like convention. It was really fun, exhausting, but I mean, it was really good. It was freezing there. Uh, there are people running in shorts and I was like, oh my gosh, it's 30 degrees outside. This girl's running in shorts. And the guy was like, one of our Uber drivers, he was like, you're not from here, are you? And I said, no. And he goes, yeah, because anything above 30 or above people are in shorts. Like 30 here, we're like winter coats and scarves and thermals and we're ex like just over it. So I thought that was interesting, but it was good travels. So I'm home. I'm gonna spend the day with this. Well, I'm gonna get my nails done soon, but then I'm gonna spend the day with this one. So I think we're gonna call it for this vlog, guys. You wanna say bye? See ya. See you later, alligator. We're going to get back to our normal schedule vlog this week. So this will be Monday's vlog. You'll have one on Wednesday and Friday. It's going to be great. Get back to our normal schedule.